We are all enjoying the wonderful summer weather here on our little farm. The mornings start off with spectacular misty golden sunrises. But just in the last two weeks, the temperatures were so hot by mid-morning already that we needed regular cool refreshments. I waited for my rides until after sunset when things were cooling down again a bit. Or I took the horses even further out west where the Atlantic breeze turned the summer heat into a more refreshing experience. Or we took the horses right into the sea altogether Always a special treat, especially for my hard-working volunteers who helped me with my children's groups this summer. But work doesn't do itself, even in hot weather. And various animals still needed minding, especially in this heat. All grown-up sheep are shorn now. What a relief for them. But they all still need plenty of water during the hot days. The warm, dry weather spurred the garlic on and suddenly it was high time to harvest. There we go, Tim. Big enough. Beautiful. The train is coming. Another brilliant yield this year. Our metal groups helped us so much. Thank you everyone. And special big thanks to the crew who helped bring in the last of the garlic when the weather suddenly turned. The weather changed. Oh, very soggy job. <laughs> You're still smiling. That's good. <laughs> That's the main thing. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Thousands. Thousands. Well done, everybody. has been digging away at the foundations for the barn. And Tim found a brilliant use for all the subsoil. He will tell you all about it in a later video. Soon enough, the concrete arrived and the foundations were poured. Plenty more earth to move about while we wait for the foundations to dry out and the steel for the barn to arrive. Is it? Oh. In the meantime, we now have all these lovely big boulders dug up. Perfect for a little fireplace. Thanks to Flora, we got the stones moved easy enough. Only that when we picked this old board off where we wanted the new fireplace, we disturbed this little poor creature and her tiny babies. We think she is a bank vole. As she was disturbed already, we thought it best to move her and her babies, nest included, carefully into a sheltered place in the hedge. 
following Tim's mention of his temperamental camera in one of his videos. A big box arrived here this month. What a sweet little lens. Wow, what a lovely thing. Very nice looking camera. Very sweet. It's like Christmas. It's amazing. Thank you very much. And did you see? I I have a lot of uh, German newspaper to read now. Okay. This Anzeigen Oberbayern. Huberthof Frühkartoffeln aus eigenem Anbau täglich ab Hof. Ooh. Oh, auf ins Erdbeerfeld. Wow, oh, lots of things going on there. I think so. <laughs> so what's in there? Coffee and chocolate. Oh, look at that, there's two. <laughs> there's two. Thank I'm goodness. more and more impressed with this yeah. guy. Let's <laughs> have a look. Okay. Thanks ever so much, Mats together. from Germany, for your kindness and generosity and to let us have your old camera equipment. Wow. What a lovely thoughtful gift. Thank you very much. It looks very smart and we can't wait to try it all out. Cyber mm. shot. Thank you, Mats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, stuff. Okay. Look, everybody. Here's my son Liam's book. First ever book, I think. He's also known as Captain Longlegs, apparently. Yeah. And it's called Who's Missing and it's a children's book and it's for ages two to six. But adults are allowed to read it too, I think. Yeah, it's quite a challenging yeah. book. It's all yeah. about who's missing. It's dedicated to his brother, which is very sweet. And there are lots of lovely pictures of animals. And every page has a mystery because Who's missing from this page? Oh, the one up in the, up, up there. Yeah, but who is that? Uh, <laughs> That's uh, the challenge. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's check on the second, on the next page. Okay. We give the solution. The solution, is, yes. Is, is, oh. Oh the, oh, the black sheep. Because no. it has a little crown on it. So it's a cleverly thought out book and Liam wrote it, which is amazing. Except there aren't any words, except for the first few words. Yeah, but that's... So it makes it even easier. And well done, Liam. And go, everybody go and buy one. Link in the description. Great excitement about our first apricot, apricot harvest ever from the glass house. Did you say something about oh, them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't realize. I thought you were taking a photo. First ever apricots. They look, what a lovely colour. And the skin. So mm. soft. Mm. Not bad for our first Great. harvest. Great! Absolutely! Well done! But all this, of course, is piqued by the arrival of Trudy's puppies, who are completely adorable. They are nearly four weeks already. They've now opened their eyes and can hear and toddle about happily in their little playpen in the shade. You might have seen that we've made a video all about them already and an update will follow soon. A big day in the life of Gulliver the baby donkey, his last bottle feed. Open. Open now. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Gulliver. No more bottles. No more bottles now. No. He is four months old now and a strong, sturdy youngster ready to live on grass and some supplementary baby equine feed. After all he's been through in springtime, it is hard to believe how easily he has left all that behind now, full of cheek and joy. <laughs>